So here are some funny looking problems. And what this is saying is that the top of the fraction is 3 times 4 times 7 times 3, and the bottom of the fraction is 2 times 3 times 3 times 4. So they've kind of been broken up into some of their factors. And when you have everything on the top multiplied and everything on the bottom multiplied, you can do this really fun, neat thing called canceling. Anytime you see the same number on the top and on the bottom, you can get rid of it. So look, I see a 3 up here and a 3 up here. I can cross them out. I see another 3 up here and a 3 up here. Cross them out. I see a 4 up here and a 4 down here. Cross them out. What am I left with? Just a 7 on the top and a 2 on the bottom. So this has been reduced to 7 halves. What's cool about this is it's a way you can simplify fractions if you're confused about how to do that. Let's say we had 18 ninths, and you might know what that is already, but you could break it down into its factors. 9 on the bottom is 3 times 3. 18 is 2 times 9, or which is 3 times 3. And what you'll see is 3, three cancels with 3, 3 cancels with 3, and we're left with just 2. And, of course, 18 divided by 9 is 2, so that makes sense. Let's try this next one. So all I'm doing is looking for same on top and bottom. So there's a 2 and a 2. There's a 3 and a 3. And there's a 2 and a 2. Now I'm left with nothing on the bottom and just a 5 on the top. So that's 5 over 1 or just 5. All right, we've got one more here. So looking for the pairs. There's a 2 on the bottom, 2 on the top. 3 on the top, 3 on the bottom, 3 on the top, 3 on the bottom, 2 on the top, 2 on the bottom, and I'm left with just a 5 on the top and a 7 on the bottom, so the answer for that one is 5 sevenths. So that's a little bit about reducing.